So today I'm going to be showing you the Christmas gifts that I made for my family. So um, this is going to be a fairly short video um, because there's not really much to show. And wow, with the light, my desk looks a lot dirtier. But that's besides the point. Uh, that's normally under my keyboard. So okay, whatever. Don't have really much that good of an excuse for that. <laughs> so um. Here I have a Christmas box, kind of. Um, I was originally going to put all of the gifts in these and have a lid on them. However, um, yeah, that's not going to happen because <laughs> it, they take up a lot of plastic, one. And um, I kept trying to print the lid. And the first time I tried to print the lid, it broke the feeder on my 3D printer and I think not, I'm still not completely sure what that what's wrong with that I think I might need to adjust the flow a bit but it seems to be fine for everything else that I print and I tried like resetting the G code and stuff so I have no idea what's wrong with that so um, this box was supposed to put a Pikachu in it So, uh, I printed this 8 centimeters tall, which is a fairly good size for anything. Cause, so, I printed this in 3D Sol Solutech, real yellow, and it, I'm surprised how good it did on the tail. While there are still some, uh, like the bottom, it's kind of, you can still see like where the support was, so there are some like bumps and stuff. However, like, the tail is not a very easy thing to print because of all those jaggies, I guess you'd call them on it. And I also have no idea what happened here. I think I might have had something stuck on the extruder or something, like from old plastic, because I don't really clean the extruder, but, you know, it's fine. And then, so the Pikachu was for my brother. And here I have um, the Squire character from Dungeon Defenders, which is a game for the PlayStation 3. My dad has a gaming PC and, then, and a VR headset, and he still uses the PlayStation 3, which is just great. So um, this printed decently well, I guess. Um, I printed this 100 centimeter or 10 centimeters tall, 100 millimeters tall. And, um, so I had, so, um, what I was talking about, the skirt, the support got stuck to it, and it caused, um, some of it to get ripped off, though it still looks mostly fine, you can see some stringing and some, yeah. Uh, another thing that happened, uh, with the support is the support got stuck on the left pinky, so I tried to use a 3D pen to put it back. Or I couldn't, I dropped the finger and I couldn't find it. So I tried to make a new one. It looks kind of weird, like the one on the right side has a bend in it, but the one on the right side does not because it's 3D penned. It's also like coming off like I can, it a bit more than the other ones so uh, on the top here uh, um, I have no idea what happened to the top so I'm pretty sure what happened is that um, the part connected to the helmet is very thin and it made it so that when it started to print this it slipped because um, the plastic does have some friction with the extruder so it kind of pulls it along like a little bit and if there's no support holding it up then it's just going to slide off and that's what happened so I printed another one and stuck it on with uh, a 3D pen Our, um, some of the yellow that I was using the 3D pen with before got mixed in I thought I had purged it all but I guess I didn't I did the pinky after that so that's why it doesn't have any yellow on it 
And then for the last one, I have, or I, yeah, I made that for my dad. And for this one, this is a Mrs. Pac-Man that I printed for my mom. The original model is just supposed to be a Pac-Man. So it does look kind of weird. The bow is from a different thing, and so it's the entire the entire thing's not Mrs. Pac-Man. Okay, so I'm trying to say. So there's no lipstick. Um, I asked my mom if she wanted the lipstick on, and she said no. So I didn't put it on. And uh, so we went over with Sharpie in on the mouth and the eyes. It looks better than it did before. I, I think it looks kind of dirty, but it's it's mostly fine. And then I printed a... Oh, by the way, the Squire was printed in Hatchbox White. And this was also printed in Greedy Solid Attack Real Yellow. As well as the bow being printed in 3D Solid Attack... Uh, transparent red or translucent red, I forget which one it is. Um, so I stuck the bow on with a 3D pen. I'll have the models for each of these in the description. Okay, so my phone died again. So yeah, all the models will be in the description. However, the box that I printed for the Pikachu may not be in the description because I can't print the lid. So yeah, uh, I might I might get it printed later, and then I might put it on Thingiverse or maybe even my mini factory, and I might put it in the description, but I probably won't because I'll forget. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the like button if you'd like. And if you really like these videos, hit the bell icon to get notified of each video. Also, shout out to Kyle, which I forgot to do in the last video. Uh, Kyle W, I'll have his channel in the description for making the logo. If you want your channel to be featured at the end of videos, uh, all you have to do is subscribe to me on Patreon for $5 a month. And I frequently, or frequently, relatively to not so long ago, so, <laughs> uh, put out a contest in my Discord server. And you can also win shoutouts from there. So.